Meta has released another batch of language translation models. These new batch of models keep the way we speak intact when translating what we speak. Also, another cool feature of these new models is that you don't have to wait for the translation until you finish speaking. The speech output is almost real time to speaking. You can see on your screen that in this batch, there are four new models, Seamless M4T V2, Seamless Expressive, Seamless Streaming, and Seamless. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to all these four models. Plus, I'm also going to show you how you can install it and a little demo of these four models. So let's get started. So first, let's have a quick overview of what these four models are. First one, Seamless M4T V2. This is the foundational model that Meta released in August. Now we have Seamless Expressive. This is a model for preserving expression in speech-to-speech -speech translation. Seamless Streaming is a streaming translation model for state-of-the-art results without, with around two seconds of latency. And Seamless is Seamless, um, Expressive, Seamless Streaming, and Seamless M4T have been combined and they have just created this Seamless model. So if you want to use all the top three models in one model, then just go with Seamless. Seamless Expressive currently keeps speech rate, pauses for rhythm, emotion, and style in speech-to-speech -speech translation between English, Spanish, German, French, Italian, and Chinese. Seamless streaming translates while the speaker is still talking. And I will shortly show you how you can try out these models in a demo. You can try out these demos on Hugging Face and also on another Meta's website, which I'm going to show you shortly. All of these are all of these models are open source for non-commercial non use. One of the things which I'm really impressed by this as there are a lot of use cases. For example, just imagine video calls on WhatsApp or Instagram with the seamless model. You could chat with anyone in the world without English being the qualifying barrier. Just imagine these models on your mobile phone and you are traveling to, let's say, China in the remote parts of China where barely anyone understand or speak English. And you can talk with those people without any issues or barrier. Another thing worth noticing is that you can build algorithms to enhance base model. For example, seamless streaming has an algorithm to decide when to keep listening and when to start translating to deal with a different sentence structure in different language. So as you can already see that this is huge. Now, if you scroll down to their website and I'll share the link in video's description, there are a lot of things that you can see, for example, how they have done the metadata, data and data alignment tool. For example, this is Spanish audio segment. This is passing through this semantic search of sonar and then creating the English audio segment. And then they have given some detail, which I have just told you in simple language as how this is working. And this is the approach they are following. For example, if you start from the left hand side, it's a partial speech they are using encoder decoder to use in the streaming one. And then there is also another encoder for expressivity. And then from there, the expressive speech is being generated in the target language. All of their models run on FairSec2. If you don't know what FairSec2 is, FairSec2 is a simple sequence modeling toolkit that allows researchers and developers to train custom models for translation summarization, language modeling, and other content generation tasks. Okay, coming back to this uh, Meta's streaming uh, seamless uh, model, they have introduced a lot of new concepts. For example, look at this unit Y2, which is a new architecture that has a non-autoregressive text to unit encoder. So if you go through this website, it is full of these nuggets, and then it goes into a lot of details of implementation for streaming, expressivity, and also it is showing you some of the benchmarks on Blue and other uh, auto speech recognition benchmarks. And then there is a chapter as how they have tried 
to mitigate the toxicity and other issues with which are very common with LLMs. Okay, now if you check out this website, uh, which is again you can move from the first one. So if you go at the top, you can simply select any model and then go to this website. From here, you can uh, do a lot of stuff. For example, they have some demos here. You can try out their own demo too. So let me quickly show you the demo. So go to this and then click on try the demo. Just click you have read it, read it. Choose the language you will speak in. I'm going to speak in English and target languages. Let me go with Spanish and then click on next here on the bottom right. And you need to allow your microphone and then I will uh, speak something. So glad I'm clicking on record and then I'll speak. So glad you are here. I'm so happy to see you. I'm really looking forward meeting you next time. Now it's generating the translation. Let's see what it comes up with. Let's wait for it to finish. And then when it is done, I'll play it out. Okay, I have tried it out few times and every time it has failed to translate my input and it is it is keep asking me try again and again and again. I have already tried it five times, so I'm not going to do it again. And it has brought me back to the screen. Anyway, maybe you try it out. Maybe you will be successful. I think there is a lot of load on this at the moment and that is why it is not working. Maybe I will just give it another try. I'll just go with the French. Maybe I'll just reload this. I'm just reloading my web page. I'm clicking on try the demo English. Maybe I'll go with French. Click next and I'm going to click here again. So glad you're here. I'm so happy to see you. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time as soon as possible. Okay, now let's see if it is able to generate the translation or not. I was hoping it should be quite quick, like in few seconds, 10 to 15 seconds, because it's such a short clip. Let's see if it doesn't work this time, then we will move on. Maybe I will let it run, and meanwhile, I'll show you something else. So, so if you are looking to install it locally, it is not as straightforward as you would think at the moment. You would need to have quite a lot of prerequisite, because remember, it is a speech to speech translation, so you would need few things already installed. And then you would need a very beefy system. I don't think so you can run it on single GPUs at the moment by the look of the thing. So, but anyway, I will still show you what you can do here. So if you scroll down, you can see a few of the prerequisite is the fair spec two, which you need to install, which has a lot of pre-built packages for Linux at the moment and Apple Mac. So you can't do it on Windows, it seems. Also, it has more dependencies, so you would need to read to the README, and then it also uses Whisper, FFM, PAG, and a lot of other things. Anyway, so all you need to do in order to install it, so you need to get clone this repo, go to demo, and then install all the requirements and run in Python app.py, and it will run the Gradio demo for you locally. And then this is the resources uh, which it is using, for example, M40 large V2 has 2.3 billion parameters. And similarly, there is other information about other models too, which you can read through this uh, GitHub repo. I will also create another video where I'll try to run it on my laptop to see it works or not, but I really doubt it anyway. If you are interested in reading further into the paper and abstract, so this is a Meta's website where you can read its paper, the abstract of it, and also download the whole paper if you feel like it to read all um, the implementation details and other stuff. Okay, let's go back to here. You can see that it failed again. So it's not working. Anyway, try it out and let me know if it works for you all good or maybe i'm doing something wrong i'm not sure but let's see um, 
but this is what it is at the moment i really think that this is a good model i hope that it would they would make the installation instruction a bit simpler plus this demo would work maybe the whole world is trying at the moment anyway really good stuff from meta let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much